Hello. Before we start uh, the database modeling with uh, Irvin, we will do some uh, configuration of the system. And uh, we will configure it so that it's uh, well suited to uh, make a conceptual model. And from the conceptual model, we will let uh, Irvin transform it to a physical model. So after having done this configuration, we will save it uh, as templates. And I advise you then when you start new pro projects to start with uh, these uh, templates. Here I have uh, opened the Irvin and I go to File and the New to create a new project. And we select the logical slash physical because we want to create uh, both uh, those kinds of models. We select the SQL Server and the correct uh, version. The, for now we don't have a template but we are going to make one. So we just click uh, OK and we will do some configuration and we will save it as a template. The first uh, thing we will do is to go to uh, the menu Model and the model properties and we will not uh, use uh, the idef1x uh, notation uh, we will use the information engineering notation so we select this for uh, both the logical notation and the physical notation then we go to defaults the default uh, data type is set to 18 characters but we can uh, change it to 30 so that we can store some more uh, characters without having to change the data type so 30 on uh, both the logical data type and physical data type and close then we want to configure the settings for the conceptual level, which is the logical level in um, Irvin, and also for the physical level, which is named physical. Then we double click on an empty area. And to uh, configure the conceptual level, we go to entity. And uh, at that level, we don't want to um, view the foreign keys. We only want to view the primary keys. We remove the foreign key and uh, select the primary key. And we don't want to display migrated attributes, so we remove this one. So only the logical primary key will be uh, selected here. And then we go to table, where we configure the physical level. The physical level is the level where we can see our tables and data types and foreign keys and primary keys, etc. So uh, here we want to select the, both the primary key and the foreign key. We don't need to display ungenerated tables, but we want to display the data types. So data type and primary key and foreign key will be selected under table. And then we close. So this is a good starting point for a template. So we go to file and save as. And here we select the CA Irvin DM template because we want to save it as a template. And we have to select a file name. I name it Irvin template, logical and physical model and save it. To test it, I can go to file and close and I go to file and new. And then on the template, I can uh, select browse. And there I will find my template under uh, documents, my models and templates. And here are the templates. So I double click on it and uh, select OK. I can expand this one and if I go to model and the model properties I will see that uh, this is the new template with 30 characters and if I go to general I will see that information engineering is um, chosen. To create a template for the scripts you're going to make uh, we first select the physical level then we go to actions and uh, forward engineering and schema. So if you start by security, there we don't have to do anything. Server can be left empty and database can be left, left empty. Under schema, we will uh, unselect uh, this one. And under table, we will only create table, not procedure and function. Uh, table validation, we can leave that one. Under column, that's okay, we can leave everything. We will not create views, so I remove this one. And we will not create indexes, so I remove the upper one. Referential integrity, we can let the script create the tables and then alter the tables to create the foreign keys or we can include the everything in the, the create table um, statement. So I will do that and I change this from alter to create on all three of this. And triggers, we will not create triggers from our ER diagrams. So I remove that one and the last one can stay as it is. And now we click save as, because if we don't do this, Irvin will start with all these um, checked uh, checkboxes uh, every time. We click save as, and we will save it as an XML file. So um, we go to browse, 
and it will start with the documents, my models and templates. I will just uh, give it a name and I call it Irvin script template and I save it. Now, next time I come to this one, I can just uh, open and um, find my template and then all this configuration will be set as we did now. Then we are through with all the configurations we have to do and we only have to do this once because now we can always start with these two templates when we need them. So I click cancel and then we are finished.